Before you start setting up your MYOB file, there are certain things you will need to take into consideration. And you'll need to know some of these answers before you start with your new MYOB file in setting it up. Things that MYOB needs to know as to how your business operates and what you need to consider. You're new and you don't know what to do. You've opened the package, you've put the disk into your computer or you've downloaded it onto your uh, computer and then it says, what am I going to do? The first thing to decide is what sort of business are you in? MYOB comes with a number of templates. Decide which one you will need to be in the various areas of retail or manufacturing or a service industry. You'll need to have a fairly clear idea. The chances are that MYOB will not give you a 100% fit. The chances are it will give you a 60 to 80, maybe even a 90% fit. So you'll be able to get started fairly quickly. You'll need to decide how you get your income. Do you get it, for example, as an internet trader and money comes into your bank account and it, everything is basically cash on delivery? Or do you raise invoices with your credit terms and then expect to get paid? How do you pay your expenses and what expenses do you have? Do you mainly use your credit cards or do you have your suppliers supplying goods and services to you and expecting to be paid at the end of the month? The one expense that we don't like normally is to pay your taxes. Do you pay your taxes on a quarterly basis because you've got an assessment from the tax office that says so much as you go? Or do you wait till the end of the year, do your adjustments and your tax accountant says, well, that's what we'll owe and you get an assessment much later on? Is it just you or do you have staff? For if you have staff, there are a lot of considerations you'll need to take up. Your business. Who owns the business? Is it just you? Are you a sole trader? Are you in a partnership with somebody else? Are you a corporate entity, a proprietary limited company? These are other considerations that you should discuss before you set up your business and doubtless your accountant is probably the better person to advise you. What does your business do? Do you sell goods? Do you need to keep a track of those goods? Do you sell services? In other words, you have people, or just yourself, going out there basically using your time? Or do you sell a combination of goods and services? These are other things you need to consider. And your income, is it basically cash sales? Do you have FPOS facilities? The money appears in your bank. Do you have sales on credit? In other words, raise an invoice and it comes back to you later. And one consideration, even with sales on the internet. Do you collect GST? If you do, you'll need to account for that GST either quarterly or annually to the tax office and send them something on account. If you get very large, you may even be doing it monthly. How do you pay your expenses? Are you going to pay cash out of your pocket or are you going to use a facility from your bank account? Will you be using a credit card? which you pay off at the end of each month or whenever. Do you have accounts from suppliers to be paid later? And if you are paying out GST and get it refunded, you'll need to know how much you'll need to be refunded at the end of each quarter or month or annually, depending on your basis of paying. If you're paying your BAS monthly, you'll get very used to uh, filling out the forms. Quarterly, maybe not so used to it. And the annual tax return, Maybe you will need an accountant to fill that out for you or to assist you in filling it out. If it's just you, do you have workers? Will they be permanent workers full-time or permanent workers on a part-time basis? Maybe they're casual workers, they're brought in when they're needed. Or maybe you have contractors, people that you employ to do a specific job. They're capable of working under their own steam and then at the end of that particular task, they disappear. These are considerations, all of these, that you need to consider in setting up your business and having those answers to hand will help you when it comes to opening your MYOB package and getting started.